feel very sad at what is happening in Nigeria today because I don't think, never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that some of the things that are happening in Nigeria today will happen in our country. Well, I wouldn't say our generation failed Nigeria. I think what failed Nigeria was the military. Mm. Because it was when the military took over that our problems began. And we have been in it ever since. I don't think the political class gave a chance for the military to intrude and mess things up. I think the military came in and messed things up. Because in any country, there's always power struggle in politics. And usually, the politicians manage to resolve it one way or the other. But with the military intervention, it seems to have stifled the growth of Nigeria and has taken us way, way, way back. I mean, if we look at it, in the 60s, we should have been like one of the Malaysian tigers by now, by the Asian tigers by now. But we're not. Why? Because the military came in, and if you are saying that uh, they messed up, yes, of course they messed up. They were no better than the politicians. They were just politicians in military uniform. Well, it's just a military uniform indeed. I think we got it wrong with the assassination of the Prime Minister Tafa Badewa and the Sadauna, and which led, of course, to the civil war. That is where we started to get it wrong. I'm not saying that General Muratala didn't make the mistake by sacking so many of the civil servants, but he, I think, meant well, but it may have been misguided that he, as a military man, didn't fully understand the workings of the civil service in government. Mm. Mm. So, so you actually felt that Nigeria started deteriorating right from the killing of General Muratala and, uh, uh, no, sorry, uh, killing of Prime Minister Tafu Balewa. Yeah. That means the first, coup, Bello, the first coup the was first when Nigeria started, started deteriorating because that was the first time I saw a car drive up a one-way road the wrong way, and it was a military vehicle. Hmm. Hmm. What, 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 what did that do to your memory then? I mean, I mean. Well, of course, I was shocked, but then this sort of impunity lack of regard for the rule of law has persisted and what, what we are getting now is all sorts of things we are having Boko Haram, we're having Badu, we're having militants hmm. Hmm. kidnapping, yeah. armed robbery everything is just getting from bad to worse Personally, I don't think that the country should disintegrate. But what I believe is that we should have devolution of powers to the states. Because the constitution which we had at independence devolved powers to the various regions as they were at that time. Hmm. And I believe we should go back to that. Because our leaders at that time sat down with the British, who were our colonial masters, and tried to figure out a way where Nigerians could live together in harmony. And we were living together in harmony. But the unfortunate thing, of course, is that the British favored the North. Because they realized that the North were not challenging them in the same way as the South was. I mean, we in the South were challenging them educationally. We were saying yes. I went to the same university as you, so why should I, you know, tow -tow. Yes, tow -tow to you, why should I get less pay? I'm equal to you, my brain is equal to yours, in many cases even better than yours.
So, and, and the British saw that and then decided that it was better to put people who were ready to count out to them mm. in charge of Nigeria. Mm. And this is where you have the huge northern region and, you know, the little space being left to the south, mm. not taking into consideration the problems in the mid middle belt, because yeah. the middle belt people are not the same as the Hausa Fulani of the far north. Yeah. A restructuring actually is not that people should go. Restructuring means that we should change the political setup in Nigeria and the administrative setup in the country. Mm. I think, you know, we had a conference yeah. of 2014. Yes, in 2014. I was a member of that conference and we came up with a consensus, you see, mm. idea as to what should happen. But unfortunately, the APC government have decided to confine the results of that conference to the archives. They have not decided to look at it. They're doing some kind of window dressing restructuring at the House of Assembly and in the Senate. That is not what, that is not exactly what um, restructuring was about. Restructuring was going back and devolving powers back to the states. In that document, we made recommendations that the states should have the powers which they had at independence. Okay. We said that states that wanted to join together would join together. We said that we should have our own police force in the states because how can you bring somebody from Maiduguri who, who doesn't speak a word of Yoruba and you put him in the same mm. and you expect him to be able to police the police. It's not possible. Mm. It's really wrong, really. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's not possible. But there are various things in that document which we recommended that in fact each state, after all, we have various federations, state the United States. Each state in the United States has its own parliament, they have their own laws. And this is what we are recommending for Nigeria. They have their own courts. Mm. And we are saying that what should happen is that we should then contribute to the central purse. The federal government should be in charge of foreign policy, defense, and one or two other things. Mm. But it seems that some people, because they're benefiting from the current setup, mm. don't want restructuring to take place. Mm. I'll mm. give you the example okay. of Lagos State. Okay. We have 20 local governments. Yeah. We have the same population as Kanu State. Mm. I think when Kanu was on its own, it had 42. Mm. Yeah, 42. Yes. Yep. Now, Jigawa was carved out of Kanu. Kanu yeah. Now they have 70, and Lagos still has 20. Oh, Jigawa has 70? No. Okay, okay. Combined. Combined, Kanu, Jigawa. Yes. Mm. Lagos still has 20. Now, is that, that seven a, LCDs. Yes, is that a fair arrangement? Then take the Niger Delta area. The Niger Delta people have never been in charge of the oil that is being pumped out of their soil. I agree with you. In fact, they're suffering. Their land is being devastated and the government has made promises that they're going to clean up and it's going to take 20 years. And from what I understand, they have not even started in 20 months. That's dramatic. So, you see, we are, these are the problems we're having. And I think we have to sit down 
look at that document of 2014 and decide, all right, how are we going to manage it that we can all live together and feel that we're having a fair share of this state of ours, which is Nigeria. Of course, the APC government is dominated by the North. Although they were helped by the Southwest to get into power, but I see APC really as a Northern party. And the North are the people who are afraid of this restructuring. And I don't know why they are afraid, because they have so many mineral resources in the North, which if exploited, the North would most likely become wealthier than even the Niger Delta area. Oh, you think the North has more mineral resources? Oh, yes. The Nigeria? They have they all oil in the Southwest. Yes, the South they have South all sorts. They have gold, they have precious stones, okay. all sorts of things. Hmm. So, why should they be afraid then? It's because they are benefiting from the status quo hmm. and they're not ready to exploit what they have. I think this government has been a disaster. <laughs> a complete disaster. If you look at it, people are starving. I think Umaru Diko said that Nigerians <laughs> were not eating from dustbins, but Nigerians are now eating from dustbins in order to survive. And it's a tragic situation. Because I think they have got it all wrong economically. Hmm. Economically, indeed. Well, as far as I'm concerned, until somebody is prosecuted and convicted, they are deemed to be innocent in our country. And we know a lot of politics is involved in some of these revelations that are being made. So I would like that those who are making the accusations prosecute the people and make sure of their conviction. Then we will know. And when we're talking about fraud, all the people in APC. Has anybody investigated them? <laughs> all the people in APC. Yes. Has anybody bothered to investigate them? People know that the fault is there in both PDP and APC, APGA, and all the various political parties. It is just that because APC is in power at the moment, they feel that they can use that to try and disseminate the opposition. Hmm.